Hello everybody, uh, today's project actually is going to be very interesting. I will be knitting a cowl from, a, uh, from this yarn. I have this yarn here and it has little tiny bits hanging out of the uh, string or out of the uh, strand. And um, that yarn has only uh, 27 yards. So um, I have about five of these, four or five of these, so I hope it's going to be enough. But if you cannot get yarn like this, right, I was thinking how to make it easy on you to knit. So here I have a three-strand yarn that I created, and I love this color combination of the gray, uh, uh, the light blue and white. And these yarns are number three thickness uh, yarns, okay? And I uh, put three of them together because I thought that they might be very close to the thickness of this yarn. Okay, so it's pretty close to to this, right? And then I also created another one and this one is size 4 yarn thickness and this one is thickness 5 yarn and I put these two together and again these are pretty uh, thick uh, you know pretty similar to thickness of my brown one okay and you can go and actually create any color combination with these three uh, with these uh, yarns, the three of these or two of these, okay? Um, and also I want to teach you to see how all of these are, these are my samples and I have um, I have 11 stitches on each of these and you can see that here the 11 stitches actually corresponds uh, with, uh, I would have to do two extra stitches in here to have the same width. Okay, so this one would have to have 13 stitches in order to be just as wide as 11 stitches on uh, in here. Okay, so and the same thing for this, same thing. Okay, I would need to have with these two strands of four and five thickness yarns, I would have to have 13, um, 13 stitches to create the width of this uh, number six thickness yarn. Okay, I hope I'm making myself clear. Also, here are my tools that I need. Okay, for um, to start and to finish the cowl. So here I am, I have already uh, cast it on uh, 40 stitches and my first row uh, is going to be knit one, purl one. So we will start with knit stitch first and then purl stitch. is a uh, special yarn uh, that is going to be kind of hard to knit with, slightly hard, not really that much, but if you pay attention uh, or if I pay attention it's going to be okay. So knit and purl and knit and purl. And after I uh, do knit and purl all the way through the, the uh, entire row, I will then transfer everything to my double pointed needles. You can also uh, cast on and knit and purl on your uh, circular needles if you wish. Okay, and I will also provide a link to how to cast on double pointed needles where you will see how to do that. The only uh, thing is that the first row 
would be that you would do, like I'm doing, knit and purl. Here I am finished with my first knit and purl row and I already transferred all my stitches onto the double pointed needles and my next step is to make sure that this does not uh, turn, twist in these corners, okay? And then start knitting in the uh, in a circle. And as I told you, I usually take one of these stitches in here. You would have to have 41 stitches, or if you have 40 stitches, you just take that last stitch that you that you uh, did. You just twist it around and put it in here. Put it on the first needle. This is the yarn that. Oh, here is uh, this. Okay, now this is gonna be easier. There. And then I just knit these first two stitches together. Actually, I need to move my camera a little bit higher up. Okay. So, uh, now I will knit four rows. Knit and purl. So, the first stitch is knit two together. And this way, I have less space right there. Okay, so knit and purl. Knit and purl. And I have a video of, uh, you know, how to do all this uh, with the regular yarn. So if you could not see uh, what I'm doing with this funky yarn, then um, you can watch my other video. And um, I wanted to say something else. Knit and purl. And hopefully I will remember. Okay, uh, also I wanted to say, so now we will go and knit and purl four more rows, four times around, okay? And if you're knitting on um, circular needles, uh, put a mark where your where your beginning is, okay? So you don't uh, make a mistake. And I have my tail here, so I know this is my beginning. Knit and purl. And when I have four rows on knitted, I will see you and I will tell you what to do next. So you can stop the video basically now and uh, uh, continue knit and purl. And when you're finished, you can start playing the video. Okay, when you're finished with your five rows of knit and purl, I mean, first row was uh, uh, knit and purl, and then four more rows of knit and purl, right? So that's altogether total five rows. Then you will start knitting just knit stitches. All around, an entire row, just knit stitch. And you will knit, knit stitches, six rows, okay? So you will knit, 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 and you will do that for six rows. Oh, and I, I wanted to tell you also that my, uh, these needles that I have, uh, they're size uh, 15 and also they are, uh, the length is 10 inches. I purchased 10 inches long double pointed needles because I wanted to have it for bigger, uh, wider projects. So you might uh, need to do uh, purchase yourself 10 inch uh, double pointed needles or, uh, you know, just knit on circular needles. Okay, so I'm going to knit six rows and I will see you when I'm finished. I am finished with my six rows here. So here is five rows knit and purl and six rows all knit stitches. And I'm ready to 
do increase and this is how we're gonna do it we will increase after every fifth stitch so we will knit first five stitches knit one two three four and five and now we will make one in between these stitches okay so we will pick one yarn here and we will increase by knitting in between and we will have six stitch okay now five again one knit two knit three knit four knit four knit and five okay and we will increase again we will increase in between the stitches so I picked I picked a yarn you see here this is this is one stitch this is another stitch yarn between there I put my needle from the back I pull it up and I stretch my uh, stretch my yarn in between so I can put my needle from as a knitwise right there just to show you and pull it through okay and we made we increased two stitches and we do the same thing on this needle that needle and okay so uh, one two three four five increase right there and then one two three four five and increase right there and you will repeat it with three remaining needles and I will see you when I'm finished I made all my increases and now I will knit two rows okay so when you have all increases which means two stitches on each uh, needle eight stitches all together then you are going to knit 48 stitches all around two rows knit 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 when I knit my two rows each for the eight stitches I will see you then okay and you can pause uh, before I said stop but I really meant pause you can pause your video and uh, knit your 48 stitches in one row and 48 stitches in second row and then you can start playing the video I am finished with my two rows of, of each 48 stitches and now I will do the same except that I will knit six stitches and then increase so I will do one two three four five six and now I will increase between these stitches I will pick up this stitch from the back I mean the yarn in between the stitches from the back stretch this and in a knit wise I will knit this stitch and I increased by one and now again six stitches and then I will do that again between this stitch and between this stitch I will pick the yarn between those stitches and I will stretch it and put my needle from from here like knitwise and knit it okay and do that with three more uh, needles 
I am finished with my increase in this uh, in this row and now I will knit two rows again just knit stitches and just like I said it will be 56 stitches in each row okay so I will knit and knit and knit and when I'm finished with two of my rows I will see you and in the meantime you can pause your video if you want to I am finished what with my two rows of just knit where I knitted all the um, all the stitches and this is going to be another row of increases the only thing is that the way we will increase it is going to be different we will knit and purl eight stitches so knit purl knit purl that's four stitches knit purl that's six knit purl okay and then we knit so nine stitches and we will increase purl stitch so we pick the yarn again from the back and we will purl the stitch okay it's gonna be oops, let me not lose this stitch one more time there I got it okay and again eight Ta nine stitches you will knit and purl and with the, the ninth stitch is going to be a knit stitch right so knit purl knit purl knit now we have to purl this stitch Okay, that's six stitches so far. Now knit and purl. That's eight stitches. Ninth stitch purl, I mean knit, sorry about that. And now we pick the yarn after those those nine stitches, we pick the yarn between the stitches and we purl the stitch and purl the stitch pearl okay so I think you got the um, idea how to do that and when I'm finished with my uh, with my row I will see you then and again you can pause your video and continue knit and purl knit and purl knit and purl knit and purl and knit and then purl the extra stitch where you make one in between in between the stitches okay this was my last increase and I still have two more stitches left so I just will ignore those stitches and do nothing I just will knit these two last two stitches okay so now I'm finished with oh I was supposed to do knit and purl so you will knit this stitch, here we increased, this stitch is supposed to be knit and this stitch is supposed to be purl. And here we are at the beginning of the row and we will knit and purl four rows. So knit and purl four rows and then we will bind off, okay? So you just start knitting, knit and purl. And I have to watch so I don't lose my stitches. Okay, so knit. This was knit, purl, and knit, and purl. 
Um, I knitted my four rows of knit and purl and I am ready to bind off. And again I will provide a link how to bind off. There are a couple ways but for this one I will use my needle instead of hook. Sometimes I do it with a hook, sometimes I do it with a needle. But I want the bind off to be very loose so I will ne uh, use my uh, needle. Um, so I just knit first stitch. I have to watch my stitches so they don't fall off my other needles. Okay, so to bind off knit first stitch, knit second stitch, we will do all everything in a knitting uh, knitting mode, okay? No purling. So knit and knit and then the first knitted stitch you pull over the second knitted stitch. Now this uh, becomes first knitted stitch and we will knit another stitch and we will go and pull this stitch over the second stitch. So this is how you will bind off entire row. Okay. Always knit one stitch and pull the one that has been knitted before. And continue just like that. And I will see you when I'm finished. This is my last stitch that stayed on my needle, which I will transfer to my hook. And then I will uh, do an extra stitch over here, extra stitch like this, and then I will cut it off and weave in all the ends. And as you see, actually you can see on the other side it's a lot more uh, furry. Uh, that's because when I was knitting over here it, the, all the ends were staying on the inside. Uh, what I will do is I will pull them through with my hook. I will show you really quickly just like this. Pull it on the right side because I want to have it furry. Uh, on the outside. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe this would go and be warm on the inside and less furry on the outside. I don't know yet. Maybe I'll keep it the way it is. Just pull a uh, couple of them here and there. Mm, let me go and move the camera down this way so you can see better. So what I need to do is we've my end here and this end and then I just wanted to share with you my other two cowls that I did but this one was knitted with 50 stitches and so was this one but this one is a little different this one was knitted with uh, first five rows just knit stitches so it curls okay so that's why I actually have uh, five rows of knit and purl stitches at the bottom here, here and here so it doesn't curl and I didn't want this one to curl neither and this one I did that I didn't want to curl neither and this one I wanted to curl at the neck area so these are my three cowls that I have made and you can see what you can do. So this one was um, uh, the thickness number six which is very bulky and this was bulky with uh, worsted and this were three DKs. Okay, these were three number th uh, three yarns number three thickness. These were two yarns one number four thickness, number five thickness, which is bulky and worsted. And these were knitted with 50 stitches, started uh, cast it on with 50 stitches and this one with 40 stitches. So they are all a little bit different and I think that um, I probably should go and write pattern for all of them if you want, just let me know. And you can go and post uh, in comments and I think that I will take an image of myself in each of these 
so you can see how it looks, how it sits on the, around the neck and I think definitely they need also nice hat and I hope I still have a little bit of yarn left over of this one and I hope I have enough for a hat. If it's not gonna be a hat then at least like very wide headband for a winter time but I definitely have enough yarn for hat for uh, for this cowl and enough yarn for this cowl. Okay, here we are at the end and I took a few selfies of the cowls to show you how they look while I'm wearing them. And I wanted to thank you for being such a good audience because without you I would not be able to post all these videos on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Oh, and also watch out for contests. I post them on Google+, my blog and Facebook. Uh, link is usually on, uh, on my blog. So watch out for those and I will see you soon. Thank you.